just sitting here staring at what we're about to start. Come on, you ain't gonna believe this. Gotta go down these steps here. This is an old house in Athens, Tennessee. It's one of these old layouts where you walk down into the, I don't know if you want to call this a basement or, or whatever you want to call it. I've got to get rid of all this stuff, all this garbage that you see everywhere. Oh man, that's going to be fun. <clears throat> hey guys, Tanner Flowers here. We are just now finishing up this job in Athens. And you know guys, on every job we do, we encounter, you know, challenging situations. But let me just go ahead and tell you. Today marks two weeks. This has been a constant challenge the entire time we've worked on it. Uh, once again, it's one of these old basement homes where you go down these steps. This was an old basement area and all the sides were crawl space. Let me flip the camera around real quick to show you guys this stuff because if you've seen the before video, you sure aren't going to believe the after. Here we go. Guys, we had, we had shelving all through here that had about 30,000 glass mason jars. There was shelving coming all the way down through here where it had about 45,000 mason jars. Never seen so much glass in my life. We came through here once we got all that cleaned out. There was an old AC system here, an old water heater here, an old water heater back there. All that had to be removed. We put rubber flooring one inch thick all the way across this entire lower level. And I not you look at this. Look in behind all these steps, in behind these, around that pole. Come over here behind this. Who in their right mind will do all this? Guys, we do rubber flooring all the way throughout it. You step up onto the walls right here. This is the crawl space area. Now, before we go any further, this was an old, old brick veneer foundation, double layered thick. Had the uh, half pier step outs about every 10 foot. Guys, these bricks were uneven, sticking out, sticking in, going left, going right, going up. We had a ton of stuff to work around and work with. So I am very, very pleased how everything turned out. I uh, was actually unsure if it was going to be able to look as good as it does. But, you know, two weeks later, here we are. <sighs> The transformation is actually hard to believe unless you were under here to see it to begin with. Right here in front of me was an old, old uh, water heater. I decided to mount their dehumidifier system right here to my right. That plumbs in and goes up there to that P trap. Goes right out the drain line. We had to build a new crawl space door in this house. Animals had been going through there. So yesterday, evening we built that new crawl entry right there this crawl door actually has a, a security system on it because some piece of shit broke in here not too long ago and stole all the freaking copper out let me tell you something I, I, I can't stand a thief don't understand the thief's mindset but if you're that big of a piece of crap to break into a crawl space and steal copper lines out of it why don't you just go ahead and end it Look here, the humidistat fans take air from inside this crawl space and spit it out. Once we seal everything up like we do, guys, it is very, very hard for the crawl space to breathe. Uh, a lot of times, especially in the summer, this air will actually become stagnant. That will never happen uh, in any of our jobs due to the humidistat fans. So you got to go all the way down this big wall here. Keep in mind, there's that big drop off. They had a new AC system installed just a little while ago. Damn, I just busted my head. I'll show you that AC system in a minute. Going back this way. Uh, that big fireplace over there. My goodness, what a challenge. Let me flip my head around backwards so I keep bust. So I'll maybe stop busting my head. Uh, go back here. This is one of the tightest spots of the crawl space. But the, the number one tightest spot will actually be here in just a second and i'll show that to you let me let me squeeze over all this excuse me there's the back side of that fireplace there and that pier man let me squeeze over this duct here Let 
Let me hop off here. And right here, if y'all seen that video the other day when I was cramped up in that corner, I could not even fit through here. Man, that is low. You might feel me coming out in a second. <laughs> Can you hand me a piece of that poly? Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't even get through it. Clint had to physically push me through that right there. Had to like prop up on here, put my feet on Clint. He was pushing me to get up in there. That video I posted last week, I was stuck in that corner right there for two hours. It ain't the prettiest work I've ever done, but you try to crawl your butt up in there and do something any better. Let me see it. Come on. Going all the way down, that was the lowest wall of the crawl space, back to where we just started here. So I'll turn the camera back. Let me show you this real quick. Uh, around this new AC unit. Don't want you guys to think that we cut any corners. Look at this. Let's go on back here and make sure you see it all. Now, um, thank all the customers, man. Thank you, Dale Reynolds. This is the second house that we've done for Dale. Getting ready to do a third one. Guys, homeowners don't have you doing two or three houses if you're out here doing half-ass work. Man, guys, just want to really take a second to thank each and every one of you for taking the time to watch our, vid to watch our videos. Uh, thank you for supporting us. 2016 has been the busiest year that we've ever had here at Tennessee Technicians. Clint Presley, Matt Freitag, myself, Cole Donahue, Willie Austin. Thank you so much for all of our wiring. Thank you to all of our customers. I got so many people that put so much trust into me and I can't thank you enough guys just a few few uh, short years ago 2004 as a matter of fact I worked a normal job like everybody else by the hour at McKee Bakery and I never thought you know I'd see the day where people were just trusting me with so much uh, responsibility with their homes you know it's most everyone's most important investment but hey I appreciate it I don't ever forget where I come from um, I've got a crew of guys along with myself that I don't think that you will be able to find anyone that even can remotely compete with us. Look here. I ain't playing. I mean every word of it. I don't just think we're the best. Look around. We are the best hands down. We have no, there is no competition guys. The only other option you got is to get on that phone, call up some secretary at some other company, let them send us some salesmen one of their top inspector guys to come out to your house and sell you a bunch of stuff that you don't even need and then once they leave they ain't doing the work they they never do the work who's going to come do your work at your house the hourly paid workers that were fired two weeks ago on these new ones they just got hired last week and they're going to come do this big expensive job at your house that they don't know nothing about and uh, wait till you see how that quality turns out or lack thereof you guys want the best, hands down, bar none. You give me a shout on my cell phone, 423-503-0512. If you have any wildlife issues, contact me or give us a shout online at clevelandtnwildliferemoval.com. Guys, appreciate you. Thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next one.